Okay guys, this is my PC build. I'm going to include a video somewhere that I referenced to build this PC. I decided to take my own liberties on my first build and here we are now needing to troubleshoot. So with that being said, let's get started. We are going to dive right in, okay? Motherboard here, everything gets plugged or put onto this thing, okay? So first things first, we have the CPU. That golden triangle in the corner is gonna go in the top left of this board. This is an AMD chip. I will never be using AMD again, but we will cross that bridge when we get to it, okay? They have no pins on the bottom. That's one thing I had to learn the hard way. AMD has no pins on the bottom. So we're gonna put it in, give it a little shake, and it should fall right in. Put this down, then you're gonna feel a bunch of resistance. That's fine. You tuck this under there. Done. That's the CPU. Next, we have the RAM. The RAM is going to go on the in the same channels, okay? You want the logo facing to the right away from the board. And that's our RAM, 216 gig sticks. Then we have a two terabyte SSD stick. You're going to slot it at an angle then push it down and lock it into place. We're gonna take the heat sink for the SSD, put it in. No need to over tighten these. Boom, we're set. SSD in, RAM in, CPU in. Next, we're gonna put in the standoffs for the heat sink. We are going air cooled this route. So now we are going to put the cooler on top of the CPU. So they say you wanna put a pea size amount or you could do an X or you could do a whatever or or whatever. I like to put that amount so after you put that glob on, you're going to set this in the middle, okay? And once you get the screws to catch, you want to give it about a turn each side going back and forth. Because what you don't want to do is fully tighten one side and have trouble with the other side. These screws will stop you so you can go as far as you can. I don't know if you can see that, but there's also an arrow telling you air through. So coming in through the logo, coming out through the back. There we have it. I think that is everything we can do on the motherboard while it is off of the case. So now let's grab the case. I slightly apologize to anyone who's built a PC before. This gets redundant, but I'm running a case that has three fans in the front, one fan in the back, and that is all. So I have nine standoffs that I need to screw in. I have magnetized my screwdriver. Let's get started. While this case is still on its back, you're gonna put the GPU in fans down, most likely, for this one specifically. You push. So now we have the GPU, the CPU, the CPU cooler, the RAM, the SSD storage, we have the case. Now it's time to plug in cables and put in the battery. Let's lift this thing up. Okay guys, so now we're gonna do some cabling. Some of these get adapted in some sort. Hopefully I'm not blocking the camera, but this connects both of these fans together so they run as a CPU fan that measures one of them. We'll do cable management another day, but CPU fan, one plug in. A lot of these come with different blockings that match different things down here. Um, so I'm gonna do the case cables first. So they come with the case, they dangle down, Da, 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 you just have to plug them in. Okay, and there we go. If you see me have extra working room, no you don't, be quiet. Next, we got the HD audio button and the USB button. HD audio allows for, I think, headphone jack plug-in. <laughs> USB allows for a USB plug-in to the case, to the front of the case. Just like that, we got the HD audio plugged in and we got the USB plugged in. Let's see what else we got. 
Next, we have this cable with a blue piece with a notch on top. There is pretty much only one thing on this board with a notch on top, and so it goes right in there. Last but not least, we are going to wire in the power button, the reset button, power LEDs, and other LED lights for the case, including for the fans. If they come like this, you can get an adapter where they all plug in and then you plug in directly. I never got an adapter, so we're just gonna do this. Just like that, we have all the case cables plugged in. We have HD audio, we got a USB, we got whatever this one is, I can't remember. It's RGB. Then we got the power and reset and more LED cables plugged in. Okay, after that, it's gonna be, so this is the back of the case. And that's one thing that truly stumps me is the fans, the fans for this one. So they are all separate cables, including the rear one. And it looks like it can be, they can all be daisy chained together. Let me show you. So I got them all daisy chained, focus. I got them all daisy chained together, but now they have a SATA cable left to power them. And so it powers them, it turns them on, they run and everything, they run like normal. And I'm wondering, is that the right thing to do? I haven't found another solution yet, so I'm gonna continue with doing it this way for this build. But if someone else has something else I should be doing with them, let me know. Now we have the modular power supply. I know most of the cables that have to be plugged in. Now I need you guys to confirm with me. We have the motherboard 24 pin that goes into the motherboard and it's separated in two for right here. Then we've got the CPU cable, which gets plugged in right here. We will come back to this, by the way, because I ran a build online and it gave me an issue with my CPU power. So we'll, we'll come back to that. Now we've got our two PCIe cables. We're gonna plug them both in. Those will power the GPU. And last but not least, we have a SATA cable. And this is where I'm gonna plug the case fans into because I don't have another solution. I'm not sure what to do. So we've got the CPU plug, the GPU plugs, the motherboard plugs, and we have a SATA cable plug. Now we're gonna power, plug them all into the case and slide the power supply into that slot. You always wanna make sure you put your power supply fan side down. So now we're just gonna put four screws in there. It pays to put this in last because some of the cables route just above it and you don't wanna to have to take it back out just to push some cables through. There we go, it is set to off and now we're gonna fish those cables through and plug them in the front. Putting these cables through in a normal fashion makes cable management easier in the future, but now we're gonna plug the case fans in. CPU cable gets routed underneath all of this because it goes in the opposite direction of everything else. Now we're gonna take the motherboard cable with the clip side and rotate it this way. We're gonna take the CPU up here and that clip is gonna be up top. That one is super tough to get in, so make sure it's really in there. Now we get to reinstall our friend. Be careful when pulling these through, they might unplug those and that's just a whole other hassle. Remember, fan side down. And then you plug the PCIe into the GPU clip side up and that it is a complete PC build. So I have done this a couple of times and right now it takes me about 30 minutes to put it all back together like this. I never want to do it again, but this is a very clean build. Let's get a monitor and plug it up, put an OS on here and see if we can't get this running well. Just like that, cover is on. Back panel is on, cables have been managed. Just trust me. Um, these are my stickers. Nerd things. Okay, back to a monitor. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So we have set this to I or connected or whatever the word is. And you wanna make sure your monitor is plugged into your GPU, not your motherboard. 
Okay. So now let's press the button. <laughs> so many lights. So many lights, y'all. Now let's see. Does this come up? <laughs> oh. Now we wait. Oh, there it is. What does that say? Okay. We are going to let it boot and then we'll go from there. This has been stuck on the screen for 10 minutes. Didn't even get a chance to stress test or show you guys anything, but Merry Christmas. As soon as I stop recording, it crashes. <laughs> Found the next day fast forward literally one day whew, new power supply and this is what we were looking for guys two cpus two cpus like two individual powers that's crazy because i thought about using the other cables for this one hmm good warning <laughs> it's for people like me we have two pc ie for the GPU, we got two CPUs for the CPU, motherboard, fans, slash SATA cable. Let's get it in that hole. While we're here, we're also gonna do a fresh Windows install. Let me sign in one time and it's been crashing ever since. So apparently extra power to the motherboard is not the case. So now I'm guessing it really is the GPU. <sighs> oh my gosh, brother.